to show you a little bit about how and what we're doing to our little shack. So we've already went ahead, we went ahead and painted the walls. <laughs> and it's like a celestial light from uh, Home Depot. So we're gonna, we already sold these couches, hoping to get something smaller. These are gonna go outside, um, that one and that one. Okay, uh, I love my table. Sometimes, yes, I know the color doesn't go with, but sometimes I think we should sell it, but then I don't want to because it's original um, for my good crumb table. This I'm selling, getting rid of. So anyway, this is what we're gonna do. This is the entry to my kitchen. And as you can see, we've got a door there. I'm gonna eliminate that door, take down that wall, and make my little kitchen area bigger. We went ahead and took up all the moldings because we painted the kitchen. It's a grayish, sort of came out lilac, but it's okay. Um, this is what's gonna go outside. But I wanted to show you the work in progress before and hopefully the after. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this and then we're going to pop out the wall a little bit here. Looks like at least five inches out. Here's the door. Make this sort of archway here. This is going to go in the shed. Washer, dryer, water heater. And I'm excited because then I'm going to have a bigger kitchen. Very narrow space, like I don't know, two feet space here, and that's why we're gonna take it out to the shed. Um, I was limited space, as you can see, because um, the stove was in the way. The stove is in the way, so we're gonna move. Once we move the water, the wash and dryer, we're gonna move this over here to this wall and the fridge to this wall. Paint the door. And I'm not going to need this anymore. I like it, but that's a cool box. And then my hair. And this is what we've been doing. I hired someone to move the puppy put it into this little shed that we have. It's already insulated. We're going to have to do something like that now. Cover it. Uh -oh. Of course, it's going to fix my door. Yeah. Make it to where it opens the opposite way because the washer and dryer is going to go in here. And I'm going to be so happy because we're going to be able to close this door right. I mean, it'll be sealed. Nothing will be coming over here. And this will be the washing dryer pickup. And I'm going to turn the water to the This goes into the kitchen. This is what I want to show you. Out, Luna. Out. Very, very crowded in here. Out, Luna. See, so all this, this and this is going to go out in that room. Super excited.
Hi everyone, so I wanted to give you a little update. We went ahead and changed the plans a little bit. So we still have this opening, which we're gonna make, you know, a little shape thing, arch. And we did this instead. Debating if we should keep this or take it off. Um, but we put cabinets on the left. And then, change the lower cabinets and we're going to change the upper cabinet too and we put the stove on the right and then this we're going to empty and uh, put it in the drawers and these shelves so super excited I want to show you the space in this kitchen now remember the entrance now look at this I mean like uh, how many people fit through there three, four at a time, <laughs> where before it was barely one. <laughs> and then we're going to put a microwave, microwave, um, microwave vent system up there. Yeah. So super excited with these home improvements. It's taking a while, but it's so worth it. And uh, we bought a cabinet that's going to sit up here, right next to the fridge. And this is an older home, so you can see that the, the lines aren't straight. So we had to rig it up a little bit to make everything level. But I'm super excited! Look, guys. We're going to change the flooring, of course. This is the subflooring. Yep. So keep keep watching for the end results. Wow, they, they Thanks.